Hi, um, my name is Space Boy. I blog for uh, oh. CCAG now, actually. Space Boy, um, I'm Space Boy. Yeah. All right. So I want to bring it back a little bit to Connecticut, um, make it local. I was wondering, um, since I haven't read the book yet, it just came out yesterday, um, if you could talk about what issues and what uh, organizations maybe in Connecticut um, are a good model of the uprising for others to emulate. Uh, uh, certainly, I think. Um, CCAG. And I don't say that because I don't hear. But I know, I look, I've known CCAG through Tom, and I've known CCAG through the work that I've done with the Progressive States Network. Uh, I certainly think uh, Democracy for America is a very important organization. And what's important about Democracy for America, this is really important for you to understand. Democracy for America's tools that they're building allow, if I'm a DFA member and you're a DFA member, I can communicate with you. I can organize with you without permission from somebody else. That is a really radical concept. Yeah. And that's a really, really important thing uh, to have. Uh, and a lot of organizations are uncomfortable with that. There still is a top-down, sort of anti-democratic uh, model in a lot of nonprofit organizations. And that DFA model, I think, is really important. And then finally, I really believe in, in the Working Families Party model. I, I, I cannot speak more strongly about how important fusion voting is, how important, how much power it potentially gives us. To know how much power it gives us, all I'll say is this. Karl Rove's big hero is a guy named Mark Hanna. That's what he says. Mark Hanna is my hero. He was the Karl Rove of, of the early 20th century. And the Karl Rove of the early 20th century made it his goal to ban fusion voting in as many states as possible, because he knew it was empowering progressives and populists by allowing them to come together on the ballot. So if you know that the Karl Rove of 1900s major tactical decision was to put resources and time into illegalizing fusion voting, that should say to you that here in Connecticut, because it's legal, you have a power that, that Karl Rove doesn't want you to have. And that's a good thing. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.